So far, um, in number 30, we want to reverse engineer this integral. This is the integral that has uh, that resulted after um, a solid of revolution. And now we want to kind of work backwards and figure out what that um, what that situation represents, right? So uh, we can see here that this integral is a dy. So that means that it was summed up across the y-axis, right? Um, so let's draw this generic situation here where um, we have a curve here as a function of y. And as it gets revolved around the y-axis, um, a little section goes like this, and then it gets revolved into, oops, that actually should have just extended to the height, yeah. So we have this height here uh, between the, the y-axis and the curve as a function of y, and this gets revolved into a cylinder like so. Um, and it is like this because we end up adding these cylinders vertically, right? So these cylinders, um, when they get unwrapped, they're like an infinitely thin sheet of paper that gets wrapped around the x-axis, right? And this uh, this sheet has an area, but it is an area as a function of y because um, because it's it's comprised, it's like the height of y that gets revolved like so. So the further that we go along the y-axis, that definitely changes each of these cylinders, right? They get bigger or smaller, um, so definitely is a function of y. So in this generic situation here, where we're summing it up from um, from a point A to a point maybe B, right? This generic situation would be represented by um, volume would be the integral from A to B of we're summing up A Y D Y, right? We're summing up these areas, um, these infinitely thin sheets of papers or whatever else material. So all we have to think about here is how do we express this area, right? Um, well, there are two components to this. Um, there is the this height here that is equivalent to this height. And as we can see here, this is just the height of the function f of y, right? Because it's wherever it touches that green curve. And maybe I should have specified that this green curve is f of y, yeah. So. For example, at this point closer here, it would be wherever it touches the green curve, and then that's the part that gets revolved. So this is just f of y. Um, and then let's talk about this base right here. Well, this base is a circumference, right? Um, and any circumference is given by 2 pi r, but we don't want uh, in terms of r because we're integrating with respect to y. So let's think about how we can express the circumference um, in terms of y. Well, the the radius here, as we can see, it's an arrow that goes from zero all the way out to the y-axis, correct? So for example, if I were at y is equal to two, it would be <clears throat> um, two pi times two. If I were at y is equal to one, it would just be two pi and so on. So as we can see here, the radius is just my height on the y-axis. And so this is going to be 2 pi y. Therefore, this volume is going to be um, is going to be described by the integral from a to b of <clears throat> 2 pi y f of y. Um, and so let me just improve this a little bit. And so let's compare now this guy to this guy right there. Um, and so we can see that the boundaries A to B corresponds to 0 to 2, right? Um, actually, let me put these side by side. We're just going to compare them. I'm going to move this right here. So let's compare that. Um, so if we compare it, the 2 pi is accounted for, right? So 2 pi is accounted for. The y is also accounted for. Um, I should have put a dy here. The dy is accounted for, and the only thing that's missing is the f of y, right? So from here, we can infer that f of y must be the curve 1 over um, 1 plus y squared. And so uh, we can see here that this integral, uh, and so we conclude that um, the integral represents the solid uh, generated by
by revolving uh, by revolving the curve 1 over 1 plus y squared about the y-axis uh, from 0 to 2. And that's what we get um, when we compare these two situations and we see that it's just a curve revolved. Actually, it's revolved about the x-axis. I made a mistake. Yeah, x-axis. And that is it.